internet, I'm Andrew from Fighting Wombat and this is ATG number 67. For the week of January 14th, 2014. And uh, January is nearly over, but still not that many games. Um, for this week we have Dragon Ball Z The Battle of Z, Tomb Raider has made its way onto the Mac. And for DLC, Dead Rising 3 gets its first DLC, Operation Broken Eagle. And Rocksmith 2014 has some Weezer DLC. Uh, the free game for PSN users this the, the free game for PSN users this week is Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons. And that's it for games. On to the news. A recent marketing pro Promotion between Microsoft and Machinima has sparked a discussion about the ethics of how YouTube's YouTubers make a living. Ars Technicia has a piece of detail a piece detailing a recent promotion where Microsoft through Machinima can pay YouTubers up to three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars for a video featuring Xbox One content. With the proviso, proviso, viso, viso, proviso. I have no idea how to pronounce words. Uh, that YouTube that the YouTuber could not say anything negative or disparaging about Machinima, Xbox One, or any of the games in your campaign video. Reaction to the story has been mixed. Product placement is nothing new, and some dismiss it as standard marketing practice, while others are raising questions about ethical concerns. Do or should YouTubers have to acknowledge when they are being paid to play or discuss a particular product? Also. EA's Roku program offers YouTube per personalities extra cash for covering specific aspects of EA games with rules regarding what players can say or show on camera. For the Battlefield 4 launch Roku assignment, YouTubers would not receive compensation if they made a video that focused on glitches in the game. According to a document posted to NeoGAF, Neo compensation for the Battlefield launch assignment was Ten dollars per CPM with a cap of two million views, or two hundred thousand dollars. So basically, Battlefield made no money for those videos because it's all glitches. Uh, Rovio announced that Angry Birds has reached two billion downloads since the series launched in two thousand nine. That's a lot of Angry Birds and a lot of dead pigs. Uh, the ESRB has given the Elder Scrolls Online a mature rating or M rating. Bethesda started, stated that while they disagree with the rating, they believe it should have been teen, they will not be changing the game's content to all, to get a different rating. Sorry, kiddos. So you gotta be, what is it, 17 to play? I think, 17 or 18. Um, hardware manufacturer Alienware has clarified earlier statements it made regarding the modability of its upcoming Steam Machines lineup, revealing that component component upgrades will be possible but difficult. Upgrading the internal components will not be as easy as compared to other platforms. Company General Man Manager Frank Azor explained in a statement to Eurogamer, but we will not prevent a customer from upgrading. Alienware announced this week that new models of the Steam Machine hardware will be issued yearly as the company updates internal components and specifications. Alienware's first Steam Machine will launch in September. Um, that's for that section. Uh, Sony News. Uh, PlayStation 4 early adopters are experiencing a widespread of data corruption error resulting in loss of progress and unplayable games. It's only a matter of time before these came up. Um... According to a frequent report, frequent reports in a 34-page PlayStation forum thread, a glitch that the PS4 console identifies as error CE-34878-0. The bug isn't isolated to a specific game as a PlayStation community members report loss in progress across several titles in the PlayStation 4 library including NBA 2K14, Call of Duty Ghost, Battlefield 4, Assassin's Creed 4, Black F and Black Flag. In rare cases, CE-34878-0 prevents users from starting any PlayStation 4 applications. Wow. So it renders the console useless. PlayStation 4 members suggest a variety of solutions to issues ranging from save file deletion to a full console replacement. 
In happier news, Happy Wars is now available to play for 360 users without gold. So everyone can play Happy Wars and we can all be happy together. Uh, Nintendo news. Nintendo has announced on Twitter that PokeBank has launched in certain Asia Asian countries. News on other regions in North America will be coming out later. I'm so waiting for it. I want PokeBank. Blizzard has opened up the beta for Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft as free to download on Windows and Mac in North America. Um, and now in a little light news, Candy Crush Saga has gotten the trademark for the word candy. The developer says they won't be in, be enforcing, they will not, I don't know how to word this because it's not worded right on here. The developers say they won't be enforced against all the uses of the trademark. They won't be enforcing it for most uses, basically. Um, and that's it for news. We'll see you next week.